What's up, Lego fans? It's Super Lego Board coming in with a review, and I'm sorry it's taking me so long. It's just what can you do? It's just taken me quite a while to get some to so actually review. And as you all have heard, it had there's this new lineup that's called Chima, and I know I have said I will be reviewing a lot of things since I got some Christmas presents and all that. And I will be reviewing them soon, uh, but for now I will not be able to review them because, well, well, I'm reviewing this anyway. It's a lot, uh, like I say before, as a lot of you may have heard, uh, there are some ch new Chima sets coming out, and a lot of you will have bought some, and I did just that in the Alley Cats toy shop. It's, r I believe it is called Razgal's Gli Razgal's Glider. I don't know how you pronounce the name. It's um, it's quite a good set. Yeah. Yep, seven ninety nine. That's how much I got it from. It's ages 7 to 14, it's one minifig, Legends of Chima, cool Stein, and it says it's 70000, so it's the 70,000th set that LEGO have produced, that just t tells you how many sets LEGO have done, and there are a ton more that are definitely coming on the way, and this, whoops, got the box, this is not including Lego Tuso, and I will be reviewing a couple of Lego Tuso projects that, well, are, I've made. I'm not going to be able to send them into a scene, of course. That's the problem, yeah, of course. But of course, it's a Lego Tuso project. Um, the back it's kind of a comic style kind of thing. Instruction manuals. I think we better get to that in the close up. Yeah. And I know I said I would be doing it with a um cap with a not with my webcam anymore, but well let's just say the webcam broke. And for some strange reason in this new set yeah, you get two instruction manuals. What the hell? What is with that? There's one there and one here. Two. Anyway, I'll put the other one. This is basically the same as the other one, just with number one here. Um, it's about 19 pages. Just tells you how to build the first bit. 19 pages in the first one, and then you get. Um, another 18 in the next. Okay, I'll get show you Raz. Uh, not too bad. I like the Raven minifig. It's wings. Bandable. New piece. I'll, if you can take the wings off, which I'll just do right now to show you how you get the wings off. Those two studs on the back there and. I'll show you what his printing is like without that. There. That's his front printing. Purple hands, cool. You even get some claws on the feet. Not very good quality, I know, but. Um, anyway. Let me just get the headpiece off. Takes a bit of work to get it on. Anyway, it's golden beak. Cool. And I have got some birthday mo and I have some got some birthday money, as some of you, um, as so some of you, well, not all. In fact, nobody probably knows this, but it's my birthday next week on Thursday. For it is the twenty fourth, which is what my birthday is. And uh, I will be getting the battle, the battle of Lions, from Lord of the Rings. 
Anyway, this is the first face on the Rascal minifig. And you get two faces. And for some reason, the other face is whacked out. And I don't really like it like this because you get this whacked out head when you don't have anyone to, well, like, beat him up. Which is a bit strange. And, I w and for the price, yes, it's very cheap. Yeah, but... I just would have liked if you got an eagle minifig or or at least an eagle minifig and or maybe have it as like a battle pack um like Rascal's glider here with like a little thingy and I'm just going to put this minifig over here and show you Rascal's glider and it has been snowing. Hallelujah! No school for me. That is why I'm doing this review at 50 minutes past two. Anyway, um, and this here, this little pin, is for something I will show you in a minute anyway. You get four wings that stretch out individually. Yeah, massive. You get a purple one on the back. You get some claws where you can like clutch a minifig in. Just trying to show you that. I'm just gonna back up and show you. Yeah, there at the bottom. And there's a missile which the pit, as you can see, with a chain on it. So it's not really a flick missile, but you push the pin at the front, and out comes this. And it's meant to like be flying around, hitting others. Yeah, like and it's not really much. Anyway, I'll out the close up. Uh, okay, this was eight pounds, and um, not really much to say. Uh, um, I do. I am actually liking these Raven tribe minifigs, and as soon as. The as soon as they make a load more of the Raven Tribe things, like the Chi Raider, I will be trying to buy that with my money. Birthday money, of course. And, um... I'll, I will be trying to get that. And I'll be trying to get a couple of sets over the next year or two. Um... Uh... Yeah, a couple more of the set, Lego Chima sets with Ravens. And apparently, Lego Chima is supposed to be taking over the Lego Ninjago line. Which uh, is quite interesting. I did like um, it quite a lot. Oh, and there's something I forgot to show you. Chi. That is the Chi piece you get. It's quite cool. And... There's as meant to be a stud on the top there, but I just put a flat piece on the top. I made I thought it made it look a bit better. So I just did that. Anyway, uh um over to my right here and to your left of course, I have a ton of Lego sets I will be reviewing. I have already done Gandalf the Gandalf arrives. But I had to delete that because, well, YouTube had some weird, unknown, didn't like it, so I didn't upload it. And I did have my Christmas bobbly hat, but since it's not Christmas anymore, I'm not wearing that. But I will be wearing a party hat, probably in the next couple of reviews, I do. Because it's my birthday, oh no, this is my birthday. Anyway, sorry to be a bit silly. Oh, I just like being silly, I'm just so excited, it's my birthday. I'm shaking when I'm just supposed to. Anyway, I think I better end it here. Anyway, I hope you all have... Hmm, a lovely day of school with the snow, depending on your location, of course. Anyway, I hope you have a lovely day. Should be like a boy 504 out.